Hi, welcome along to another video. The links to the articles and the information shown are in the information section of this video. We'll start this week with the best article rather than saving it till last. A website called Good Ventures. Good Ventures is a philanthropic foundation whose mission is to help humanity thrive. Who are they? Co-founders Dustin Moskovitz and Carrie Tuna. So who are they? We fund organisations and projects that show great promise for saving and improving lives and for helping us learn. So if we go over to their grants portfolio, the American University Forum for Climate Engineering Assessment, we can see in 2016 that they received $76,234 and the purpose of that was to support the Forum for Climate Engineering Assessment to hold a third meeting for its Climate Engineering Working Group. 76 grand for a meeting, you can't go wrong with that one can you? There is another grant on there for Solar Radiation Management and that's for the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative General Support. So that Solar Radiation Management General Initiative works to promote the good governance of SRM by building capacity and understanding around SRM, especially in the developing world. SRMGI is neither in favour of nor against SRM research and use. Our impression is that it is a well-connected and well-positioned organisation in a sparse space. So in 2015 they received half a million dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, I repeat that, half a million dollars, for general support of the Solar Radiation Management Initiative. Nice. We're all in the wrong game people, aren't we? And if you've ever considered why the anti-geoengineering movement doesn't really get very far, it's because people aren't chucking half a million dollars at you for your mission simple as that eh? it's kind of easy when you do the sums isn't it so there's also one there for the UCLA climate engineering governance and that was given to the Emmett Institute on climate change and the environment the UCLA school of law the professor there professor Parson plans to use this grant to hire one or two fellows for three years to do academic research publish papers and hold meetings and workshops on climate engineering governance with relevant policy makers. Open Philanthropy hopes that this grant, they're hoping that this grant, will positively influence the future of climate engineering governance and policy. Love a bit of hope. So in 2017 they received $776,095 to support research on climate engineering governance led by Professor Edward Parson. Three quarters of a million dollars. Nice. Did I mention that we were in the wrong game? <laughs> Did I also mention why we're not getting very far? So we mentioned the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative just now with a half a million dollars. So it turns out they got another grant for general support. In 2017, they were given two million dollars to support the Solar Radiation Management Governance Initiative over three years. Two million dollars. So it's good to see where some of the money is coming from. Last week we mentioned about David Keith from Harvard University and where the money came from with his side of it, some of it. Remember I showed you the video where he said about how he has done the research with his colleagues from MIT and if they do geo so SRM geoengineering, people will die. That's David Keith's word. And we saw during that bit about the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation and how two of their trustees are connected to MIT. So back over to Good Ventures and the Harvard University Solar Geoengineering Research Program in their portfolio and grants section. And we come across this, SGRP will be coordinated research effort focusing on solar geoengineering research, governance and advocacy led by Professor David Keith. Other founding funders include Bill Gates, 
the Hewlett Foundation and the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation. So how much did uh, David Keith at Harvard receive? Two and a half million dollars in 2016 to support the Solar Geoengineering Research Program. Two and a half million dollars. So to repeat what was said earlier, if you've ever wondered why this has been such a difficult journey for people to try and get this banned and stopped is because you haven't been given two and a half million dollars to fight your cause. If you ever wonder why they're getting to promote their, their stuff so easily and so far and wide, it's because they're being given two and a half million dollars to do it with. Never give up, hey, just never give up. You see what we're up against. So just a couple of other new news articles just to round things up from Vice. Can geoengineering fix the climate crisis? Young experts explain how new technologies could help in the fight against global warming, but they can't be our only hope. There's some people with their opinions in the article. Young experts, Radio Free Europe, cloud seeding in Crimea precipitates environmental concerns. Whether they mean that pun or not, that can be debated. Cloud seeding in Crimea precipitates environmental concerns. Love it. There's a video podcast. The Russia-controlled administration in Crimea is calling in a plane to try to stimulate rain in the drought-hit region of central Crimea. Experts are warning of the possible impact on the environment and question the effectiveness of the plan. Crimea is facing increasing freshwater shortages. Ukraine closed a canal carrying water to the region after Russia seized control of the peninsula in 2014. Over to the Foreign Policy Research Institute and they've got an article coming up soon which we'll keep an eye out for where a few people are proposing geoengineering as a way to introduce and mitigate the effects of global warming. So just to read that again, propose geoengineering as a way to introduce and mitigate the effects of global warming. Introduce the effects of global warming and mitigate the effects of global warming. It's a very interesting sentence there. I can buy you the problem, I can buy you the solution. Over to EOS, implications of sea ice management for Arctic biogeochemistry. Geoengineering strategies to slow the sea ice melting would affect not only Earth's climate, but also the biology and chemistry of the oceans, atmosphere and ice. So that was a roundup of some of your news. We'll finish off today with a quiz. I got this wrong. Artificial rain is produced by spraying cloud with calcium chloride, sodium chloride, aerosols, or none of the above. The answer they wanted was sodium chloride, salt. Personally, I chose aerosols, because they don't just use salt, do they? We know that, but there you go. Thanks for watching. Two and a half million dollars to David Keith. Zero dollars to us. Look after yourselves. Be back soon with some more <laughs> with some more news for you. See you next time.